morning, my dudes. I just woke up and there was a package. I bet you didn't know I wore contacts, did you? <laughs> Frosty outside. Come on. Partially shipping your order and we'll ship the balance at our expense as soon as it arrives. We apologize for any inconvenience. Are you are you kidding me right now? Why? Why me? This is ridiculous. I've been waiting for these bolts for so long. You got morning voice. This is crazy. And why are, did they send me all? Guys, this is ridiculous. Ego prevailing hexagon lock nut, okay? I ordered two. You know how many they sent me? <laughs> 20. I can't make this up. They sent me 20. 20. I needed two. Oh, parts warehouse is tripping. So I gotta get something else for you guys anyways. Let's go install something else. Like seriously, like parts warehouse. I've been waiting for these parts for the past couple days. Or actually over a week now and uh, they send me no bolts. They send me nuts, 20 of them. I only needed two, 20. They're, they're, maybe that was like a gift for uh, not sending the whole thing. <laughs> Let me go make this coffee real quick. I'm gonna go to Starbucks, but I just need a little bit of caffeine. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. All right, this is what we're gonna install. Even though it's freezing outside. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Whoopa. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's Bluetooth. That is a Bluetooth. Hello. Beehive, little upgrade for the front skis. And then we can control it with our computer. What's good? You got the controller hub. Oh yeah. Let's go. I mean, I, I woke up thinking, yes, we're gonna go cut some backyard action with some high lift and test it out for you guys. But no, we gotta install a sprinkler water timer in the cold. In the cold. <laughs> the look of disappointment on my face was hilarious. But uh, I'm gonna wake up a little bit, I'm gonna go shower, I look like a bum. And then uh, let's get started.
What's up? What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbrun. You're tuning into another episode of my lawn. Yeah, we got the outside set up today. We are going to go ahead and review this guy and install him. We're just going to install him first, so let's go ahead and show you guys what we're working with. We got the Beehive by Orbit. Now, you know all my sprinkler heads are Orbit, so we're going to do that. We also have the Wi-Fi hub. This is so you can control everything from your computer. And then we also have some batteries from the Costco. You know how we do. You buy in bulk, it's cheaper. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's go ahead and uh, open it and see what we got in the in in this little box here. Directionis. Oh, nice! Look at that, guys. That is futuristic. That is a nice piece of equipment. And we got the Beehive Wi-Fi hub. Let's go ahead and give this an open. It's cold out here. I don't know I'm not doing this inside, but it's all good. <laughs> All right, so here's the Wi-Fi hub. Nice. Gonna plug that into the wall. And then let's read some directions real quick. You know what I mean? Let's 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 get to the direction reading and see what they gotta say for us. Okay, so reading the directions, we're gonna need to download the app first, and then we have to power the Gen 2 hub. The hub address, okay, very simple directionis. So let's go ahead and open up our app. Okay, so it says to go to Google Play and log into our Beehive account. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the Beehive on the app store now there's a couple beehives oh my gosh there's so many beehives we have to go log in your beehive account and go to devices under gen 2 hub new device the app will walk you through the rest of the process well that one's a 9.99 that's beehub so i'm guessing it's the first one guys all right, it is a downloading. All right, let's go ahead and open that. Would like to use Bluetooth? Sure, why not? All right, we'll go ahead and uh, create an account here. Let us put in this information real quick. All right, so once you have everything set up, go ahead and create your account. This is a new device. Are you setting this device up? This device is device you want to install or someone install device for you and give you. No, this is a new device. All right. What product are we setting up? We go into the hub. My device is powered on. We're going to go ahead and power on the device. This matches my device. Uh, 
Oh, oh, bit embarrassing. Okay, go ahead and uh, do the password. Okay, so you guys saw my uh, internet. Connect to the network. Well, I mean, around my area, it's, it's, it's kind of true. But anyways, so you set all that up. The hub is now set up. Address is in. That's for like detailed weather reports. That way we can... Uh, if you're in smart mode, I guess there's a smart mode okay, with this timer location. and it just Put like you need your address specific location to make sure that it gives you detailed weather reports so that right, that's pretty cool. Up. <laughs> production. Oh my gosh, it's been years since I've done production. That's crazy. Okay, so here is the unit here, right? In the back. Let's go ahead and take that battery chamber. Whoopa. Let's go ahead and get our Costco batteries. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open some of these guys up. Yeah, guys, I was out I was out there this morning. It was freezing. It's kind of freezing right now. It's crazy. But I don't have any production lights. I don't want, you know, bad lighting on the videos. I think this is the first time you guys seen me a uh, voiceover and my face is in the camera. Oh, there's the geese. Okay, so put your batteries in. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put that in like a so. So that side. Boom. Oh, <laughs> we got some digital action going. So let's take off this uh, screen protector. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Install the batteries. Yep. Log into your Beehive account and tap go devices, add device. Okay, so we are going to add the device. Set up another device. I'm going to go ahead and uh, screen record this so you guys can see that as well. Alrighty. Here we go. Set up another device. This is a new device. We are going to pick the Beehive XD. Now this is the four-way, they have a picture of the two-way one. Oh, right there, on the bottom. On the bottom, Beehive XD. All right, the device is powered on. Here we go, searching. We found a device, yes! The MAC address, this matches my device? Where's your MAC address, sir? on the bottom a yes a yes it, it matches this matches my device connecting to the device success your beehive hose faucet timer is now working over Wi-Fi you can control this timer from anywhere as long as your smart device is online excuse ex excuse me continue smart hose tap timer Give your device a name to identify it and optionally add a photo. <laughs> okay, okay. This, this guy's getting a photo shoot today. A next! Oh no, we want to change the name. So we're going to change the name to... Um, let's see, what's your name going to be? Beehive. <laughs> Your name is just name it Yard, bro. Yard, bro. Front. Okay, Yard, bro. Front it is. Let's go ahead and uh, next. Um, oh yeah, we need to put the the address in again. Okay, let's put that in. You guys hear them birds? Every morning. It's my alarm clock. 
Okay, click next. Test zone one. The heck do you mean test zone one? Oh my gosh, it updated the time. Look at that. Wow, this is this is epic. This is starting to get epic. Test zone one. Okay, so I'm thinking it needs a picture of zone one. Zone one is the main lawn. Let's go take a picture. I think we'll just take a picture of that zone right there. I'd like to access the camera. Yes. <laughs> Picture loaded, baby. Nice. Okay, what's test zone? What's test? Starting test. Oh, I heard a click in the garage. Okay, so we're stopping that. Okay, we took a pill. Oh. Okay, so we took a picture and it said test and it made a clicking noise. I heard a clicking noise in the garage. So we're gonna tap to name. If you're sprinkling on, you can name the zone and add a photo. It turned on, we heard it. Tap to name. You guys know what zone that is. Main lawn. Main lawn. Oh yeah, oh yeah, main lawn. Next. Ah. Test zone two, oh my gosh. Let's see if there's a, here. Zone two, let's, let's, let's do the test. Stop. Okay. Let's go take a picture of that one. BRB. Zone three. Why is it so dark? Okay. This is fence line, side strips, front, next, it's zone four. This is fun. Okay, zone four. A little corner one. Take a picture. Yama. Little guy. Next. Uh, fence line side strips. Back. 
back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how would you like to water? Let's go back real quick. Okay. Now, we've, we took pictures of all the zones, four zones. How would you like to water? Smart watering uses your landscape information to determine an optimal watering schedule. I mean, for now, yes. But we're gonna have to do a traditional watering for once we overseed, right? So for now, let's just test it out. Smart watering. <laughs> Which zone would you like to start? Uh, to use the smart water and everything. Oh, but you know what? Is it one at a time? It, I don't know if it's if, if it goes one at a time, because it can't go all four zones at once. Because my water pressure. You know what? Let's just set it up now. Traditional watering. Congratulations, you're all set up and ready to use. You may set up another device or start using your new device. Okay, so start using the device. Okay, here we go. You have no program scheduled. A, tap to set. Advanced program support many additional features. Select the type of program you want to create. It takes only five steps to create a basic program. <laughs> we ain't basic. Up in her. Advanced program. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so add start times. <laughs> okay. So this is zone one. Right now, we're going to set up add start time. We're going to go four. Fall in the morning. Let's just do four. Four in the morning. Confirm. And then. Oh, nice. And then you can add more. Like, say we're, we're, we're overseeding. Three times a day is what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So you can add the start times. But for now, we'll just do 4 a.m. Yeah. Yard bra front. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. Even odd interval. This is cool beans. Um, okay, so let's do interval. What's interval? Every day. Oh, we can go every day if we want, which we, you know, we, we normally do, especially if it's summertime. Every two days. Hmm. Every three days. Or you can go even odd. Hmm. Let's. What's the date today? The thirteenth. Even. Program schedule. You know what? For now, we're just not gonna have one. But now we know how. No. Now we know how to set it up, which is great. But we're not gonna have a program just yet. So discard. Oh, this is legit, guys. Look, I mean, there's there's so many features, and you're just doing this all on your phone. Water manually. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Look at this. We have pictures of all the zones that we need. That we need. Look at that. That's epic. You guys recognize those zones? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, let's just pretend like we're watering manually. <laughs> okay. So let's go main lawn. So main... Main lawn. Okay. Main lawn. Let's just do it for 10 minutes. We'll click the check mark. And then you click play. Is that right? Nope. 
main lawn. 10 minutes. Play. Yep. Water manually. Manual. Main lawn. Ten minutes. Oh, nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. Okay, let me do some research. Those are the landscape guys keep uh, slowing down when they look at the lawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so. So that's, that's pretty cool. Like, you just turn the dial, right, to manual. You click them. Set the amount of minutes. Like, say you want to set it for, you know, what is that? Ten minutes. Yeah, click. Oh, there he goes. Right there. Zone one is on and open. And you want to cancel it? I'll just click it again. Oh, and we closed it. Nice. This thing is cool. Okay, but we're trying to figure out how to do it from the phone. Let's let's hook it up. Let's 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 hook it up real quick. All right. Guys, I'm not easily impressed by a lot of products. Who are we joking? I'm, uh, I'm impressed by like every single product. <laughs> but damn, this one is nice. Like, what the heck? Okay. I'm. Best decision I've ever made. I was walking around uh, Home Depot and I was like, 
water timer, Bluetooth. Like, I knew there was like wireless stuff out there, but dang, why didn't we do that? I mean, I love the Mel. Don't get me wrong, the back is gonna be Melnor. I like the Melnor. Those are very trusty. Those are trustworthy water timers. But this one, <sighs> you're stepping into the future. Even though this thing's been out for like four years. <laughs> I mean, guys, come on, water manually. Main lawn. Okay. You push play. Listen. There it is. Come on, dude. Really? And you want to stop it? Listen. And it's off. Oh, come on. Like, seriously. This is, this is, I need a lav mic. I need a, <laughs> I'm used to voiceovering, you know what I mean? I'm not used to just. <laughs> doing audio like this so this is the first time you guys have seen me do audio and see my face talking isn't it kind of weird like it's like when you see a radio guy you know how ugly he is <laughs> just kidding but seriously get you one of these timers my gosh in the future we might maybe put some in the back because i mean there is room to add another timer you know, it's cool. Melnor, Melnor, you, you're doing your thing. Obviously, it's done a good job. Um, you can't hate on the Melnor. Melnor is amazing. It, it, it's been awesome. That That is a great timer. But this Orbit one, like, step into the future. Like, seriously. Amazing. I, I, I'm, I'm super impressed, guys. So, go get you one. I love it. Man, I'm still blown away. This is amazing. I, I can't say any you know anything wrong about it. I can't wait to I can't wait to actually program the actual thing for when we overseed. Um, and we'll do like like a, like a quick tutorial on that once we start overseeding. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy the manual because I mean it's raining. It's even raining right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, we'll try to find some uh, something else to do this uh, week. Definitely not mowing with the new blades yet because you guys saw what happened this morning annoying it's all good it'll come soon but i got some extra bolts if you guys need them let me know <laughs> we'll catch you on the next video take it easy